and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some abs and hero that we're going to be playing here in Throne of Eldraine Standard. That's right, we have our deck with Tulsimer, Friend to Wolves, and Garrick, Cursed Huntsman. We got these two awesome cards working together. Can't wait to try to get that going on there. Um, so yeah, that's that's like kind of the, the <laughs> that's kind of our deck. We got that combo. Like really want to do that. But besides that, we have a whole lot of other uh, spicy cards in here. A lot of other cool things going on. We got our Once Upon a Times that can help us uh, help our mana situation here. Which you know we have a whole lot of tap lands and everything. But we can find our different colors that we need with the Once Upon a Times. Or we can also have Hero on turn two more often thanks to the Once Upon a Times. We got the Faeborough Elder in here like let's say we don't have anything on turn for any any uh two drop on turn two and then turn three we have uh the Faber elder whenever we if we untap with the elder on turn four even by just the elder itself it's going to tap for two mana because it's for each color among permanents you control you add one mana of that color so it's a green and a white card so it adds it taps to add green and white so on turn four, you can just, after playing Elder on three, you can already have your four lands. It adds to play Garrick immediately on turn four. So that's pretty awesome, being able to ramp into Garrick. Uh, definitely like that. Um, but then, uh, yeah, besides that, we also have our Kethesis for, for three mana um, that uh, allow all these legendary spells to cost less. So, you know, like our Tristani, Tulsimer, Soren, Vraska, Garrick, even Citadel, that all costs a mana less, thanks to, to Kethis. Uh, Oath of Kaya as well. Lots of just cool little cards here. Um, basically, I don't love my my two mana stuff. You know, I'm playing a couple of Disparks, because I think Dispark's just an awesome card, but it's not a two mana removal. It's not like a removal spell you're playing on turn two. And you don't really want a trophy on turn two either, because you don't want to blow up your opponent's permanent, and then they get to ramp that early in the game. So we're really looking at these... Uh, nine cards is like our cards that we're playing on turn two, which hopefully that's that's good enough there. Um, <laughs> uh, we have, I guess we have Dispark as an uncommon, and then Mortify, and Bell Haunt. So yeah, no, this is, this is, yeah, I could just call it, we could just call this Abzan Mythic instead of Abzan Hero. Do y'all think Abzan Mythic would be a cooler name for this deck? We could just call it Abzan Mythic. Um, Abzan Mythics. Yeah, all right. We saw Doom Foretold. We played against Doom Foretold with our mono black deck, and it looked really, really impressive. We got this in, in our sideboard uh, for, like, the grindy matchups for, like, the, the Planeswalker decks and stuff. It it looks pretty awesome as a card. I kind of wish it was legendary so I could I could get it back with Kethis and stuff. Um, but, yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, let's get to the, some games. It's seven thirty. We're gonna play like four games of our decks now instead of five games to to make sure we, to you know have our twelve hour stream be able to get through the rest of the decks. Let's see. We got yeah because we only have we have four more decks and four. Oh man, in four and a half hours we'll be streaming for. It'll be twelve hours and just four and a half hours. So yeah, we we definitely have to speed this up a little bit. So we'll go with like four decks, four matches. Yeah, I'll I'll put together a Kendrith deck eventually. That's a that's a good card. That's definitely a playable card. Okay. I guess our opponent doesn't want to play. Maybe maybe they hit the maybe like they wanted to mulligan and hit keep. By accident? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we played. Yeah, we played the Royal Scions in the Grixis deck. It was pretty good. We're gonna have it again. Uh, the next deck that we play, Teamer, that's gonna have Royal Scions in it as well. Kenrith. Kenrith doesn't trigger Hero. It's not a multicolor card that triggers hero yeah they, they may have yeah they may have joined with the wrong deck i've done that before they may have joined with the wrong deck and we're like uh-oh 
this isn't yeah I've, I've done that before i've i've quit immediately after joining before like that looking for land i know we have the once upon a time for a land also um yeah we could keep that then we once upon a time find a white source, then we go turn two hero, turn three Fae Barrow Elder or Othakaya. But no, I'm not gonna mark that down as a win. Wow. I now can't play once upon a time whenever that thing Resolves. Wow, what a jerk move. We didn't find a white source. So I didn't even have the option to take a white source. Colonel JD. I am having fun. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Sometimes the subs just, like, they don't have the animation sometimes. A lot of times they do, sometimes they don't. I don't know why. But yeah, thank you so much for that resub. Giant killer. Oh, gosh. So that's non-creature spell? Ugh. This shuts down Fabro Elder. I'm still going to lead with the Fabro Elder, where I can just have the Elder play Hero and then Othakaya the Lavinia. Gross. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Here goes nothing. I'm ping that. Ping that to fairy. Get rid of that thing. I have survived worse than you. Pro white. So I could just play Doom Whisperer. Or I can go hero, oath, kill, Lavinia. Oh, yeah, Doom Whisperer. Oh, no, that just taps anything. I've got a shock again. Yeah, our opponent's playing hate bears, looks like. Yeah, that, that's what it looks like. Hate bears. Can't cast more than one spell each turn. You will become dust. So much for the Citadel. I need the blood. Oh, I can only cast one spell. Right. I <laughs> can't go Faber or Elder now.
So Teferi, of course, can bounce. You know, if I try to have Doom Whisperer block the Archon, Teferi can bounce it. What, this Archon? Is that what you're saying? Like, remember when I said nobody would play Archon even in sideboards? Well, I'm not... Not real sword, it's like... No, not real... Um, sold, it's really helping my opponent win the game. Like, it's just a... It's a... You know, it's a 3-2 for 4 mana. Probably do... They could probably be doing better. My microphone is oversaturated. Can you speak English? I don't know what that means. We all make sacrifices. Sorry, that was kind of rude, but I don't know what that means. So, you know, Teferi can bounce the Doom Whisperer, then Archon kills Soren. I'm known for my excellent timing. Well, we should find a sixth mana. Who? Kethis is pretty cool. But I guess. <sighs> Kethis ma makes some legendary things cheaper, but that doesn't matter too much with Rule of Law. I mean, I I'm probably going to be mortifying this Rule of Law. So yeah, let's let's just keep it like this. I've got it. And then Cause I can mortify and then play May death find you quick. Cat this. Foxes. We'll destroy the Archon. Looks like you're not. And then we don't have to worry about paying the tax. Mm -hmm. bum, bum, bum. If we take out the Desparks first. Maybe I take out the Citadel. I have a lot of things that kind of stop Citadel. Play Knight of Autumn, play a Doom Foretold, and then either Duress, Legion's End, Golgari Queen, or Trophy. We'll go Golgari Queen. Hey, what's up, sub baby, for nine months there. Thank you so much there, Shame. I really appreciate that. Sub number 23 on the day. And to Gbot's telling me it's 22, but I think they're I think they're one behind. Maybe I'm one ahead. You got Fabro got you a turn six, Garrick. Nice, nice. Alright, kinda looking for a turn three play. Um I mean I, I want the fifth mana, but I kinda want a turn three play. Yeah, yeah, turn four, Garrick, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Alright, we got a backup hero. Yeah, Simic went really, really well, that's for sure. All right, we got our turn three play now. And 
And I, Tater, also joining back in there with Twitch Prime. Just pulled a bunch of Mythics, blasting open packs. Lucky. New sets are such good times. Excited to see what you do with the format. Yeah, love new sets also. Good job. Get in those. Get in those Mythics. And thank you so much, Itator. I'm going to trade Hero for Brazen Borrower if they want. Okay, they do not want to trade. Remember whenever we put that planes to the bottom like three cards ago? So far we've drawn like three cards and none of them have been lands. Okay, there's a land. So pro white. And it's a four drop, so it doesn't die to Golgari Queen, doesn't die to Tulsimer. <clears throat> Those are both a little bit annoying at numbers. Garrick does make... Ah, uh, no, Hushbringer. I was say Garrick makes uh, black and green wolves that they would fight with Tulsimer, but Hushbringer says no to that. Your mic's gain is too high. Okay, is that is that better? Hopefully that's better. Oh uh, no, the veto. That Othakai was going to be pretty nice just being there anyway, so like that, um, it was, huh, the sound was crackling before, but now everybody says it's worse, Mike's too quiet now, we're getting trolled. All right, well, all right, I'll try. Is this, is this, all right, I think this puts it back to where it was. I can't attack. I can't attack. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, um your demise won't be quick or quiet. So they they honestly may yeah, bounce the fay of, of wishes here. Hmm, bouncing hushbringer. Surprised if we meet again. Wait, what? Wait, why why did my Vraska get bounced? They bounced the Vraska? They didn't bounce the Hushbringer, they bounced the Vraska. What? Alright, that's cool. Oh, borrower can't bounce your own stuff? Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm glad they just put the Golgari Queen back in my hand instead of just attacking it for one when it was at one loyalty. 
So I am happy about that. As long as that other card is not Dovin's Veto, we're looking really great here. Like, if, if that's not Dovin's Veto, if that, like, basically, if that doesn't counter Garrick and they don't kill Tulsimer, we are going to win this pretty easily. It's kind of risky going for the Garrick line, though. Because if they, if they just have, like, Bounce Bell for Tulsimer, we lose. So it's pretty risky. I could, I mean, I could go safer and just play, like, Golgari Queen, kill the Borrower, and then we're not taking six. I just want to do this. I just want to play Tulsimer Garrick. No, Tristani doesn't give my creatures lifelink or anything. Yeah. Oh, I can't fight. I can't fight this because Tulsimer is targeting, not the green-black thing. Well, that's annoying. Well, that was my plan to kill the Archon. I guess Tulsimer targets, not the green-black creature. <laughs> Wolfamir. Yeah, we still gained six and got rid of the 3-1. Uh, I don't have an escape of Escape to the Wilds in the Teamer deck. I, I wanted to fit one in there, but I started with that, but couldn't really fit it in there. One and no. Yeah, that is odd. It says the creature fights. Nothing about Tulsimer. So that that is weird. How that on it? That is weird. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why that was that way. Yes, I could have used Garrick to destroy the creature outright. I could have. Yeah, because it says whenever a wolf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain three life and that creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. It doesn't say that Tulsimer... Tulsmer doesn't have anything to do with that. That creature fights. Tulsmer does the targeting. Hello. Uh, let's go Temple of Skrylance. Looking for more spells. Hmm. Alright, Simic Flash. Definitely love having Hero down here. So, like, we cast a spell and it still makes a 1 1 that can jump block the cutthroat, even if it gets countered. Am I supposed to just trade hero for cutthroat? Probably. Instead of making like 1-1-1 one, 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 and then the 1-1 one, one jump blocks. That cutthroat getting huge. Hmm. It's like I called my opponent's bluff. By blocking.
Yeah, Kethis just makes my legends cost less. So my high curve makes it cost less. BGs. Thank you so much for the sub there. BGSS. Um. So yeah, we can play Tulsimer this turn. I think it's pretty unlikely that my opponent has a counterspell this turn, because otherwise I don't think they would have made that Brazen Borrower play if they had a counterspell. I don't think they do. Alright, so let's fight the sailor. Yeah, Torbran, Torbran's a good card. Yeah, yeah, that's a good card. Oh, that's awesome, Numbers. Happy to hear. If only would have, we would have drawn another spell out of all these draws. You could really pull ahead here, but you know it kind of feels like my opponent is struggling with the one green source. Well, maybe not. Glad they didn't just play those two cards and then block. So yeah, they were not struggling on the two, just the two green sources. That's a much better attack. My only chance is that they don't have another creature over there. They do. We had five cards in hand. <laughs> Couldn't play any of them. They're all lands. They were all lands. Hmm. Don't really know like what to take out. Everything is like okay.
I mean, Despark is really good at stopping the wolf. But I guess maybe we don't need both of them. But it's really good against the wolf. We don't have too many other removal spells for it. For wolf, that is. I don't know. Like I have a lot of cyborg cards that I like that I didn't bring in because I have a lot of main deck cards that I like too. It's it's just kind of all situational. Just kind of hope our our cards line up. New set's been pretty fun so far. Oko looks super super strong. We're going to hopefully not draw all land like we did that last time. I got the double temple to start the game with. Mortifies a spell. We'll keep it. Actually, instant speed spell. Got this isn't instant speed, but it's a spell we get to play this next turn. Summer's good. So they're keeping this hand. They gotta have a cutthroat. They may have multiple cutthroats. So I, I really want. I'm gonna try to Legion's End instead of Mortify. And you know, protect Legion's End with the Veil of Summer. They could definitely have multiple cutthroats here. Now, of course, we also get to see their hand, which is really valuable. They have their own Veil of Summer? Oh, I guess I'm playing Black Removal, I guess. Hey, Weighty Cakes. What is up? Thank you so much for keeping on that Twitch Prime sub. Uh, we've played against, like, one Field of the Dead deck, I think, so far. Maybe a second. Uh, I think... I kind of just want to play Tulsimer and get this in play. Yeah, I just want to do that. I just want to get six power in play. I think that Field of the Dead type decks are ones that aren't necessarily very good on day one. Like, it's, it's going to take time. With a, a deck like that that has a, a really tough medic... Oh, yeah. I for kind of forgot about that part of that card. All right, maybe we should have just gone hero. A, a deck like that that has a, a tough mana base to build um, and also is going to want to be... It's going to be a slower deck where it's going to be reactive, and so, like, exactly what spells to play around. Field of the Dead also. It's a deck that will take more time. So I, I'm not... I wasn't expecting to see a whole lot of it on day one anyway. Uh, mono black value was a lot of fun to play. Really liked it. Um, if you the video's up on YouTube of me playing it, so you can also go to the end of the video where we talk more about the deck of like a couple of changes maybe to make. But it was it was definitely a fun deck to play, and I I uh, enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to play that deck more. Hmm. Well, this is annoying with the Veil of Summer. Yeah. 
It's like a double mortify to kill that borrower. I want to try to pressure their mana a little better than that, though. Like, you know, we're, we're ahead on this race. So the, the onus is on my opponent to play something to to get ahead, but they do also have this castle that if I don't play things, then they get to use the castle. But if they use the castle, then they tap out, and I get to just kill the borrower also. Yeah, there's. Yeah, I really don't like how sealed is in best of three. I really don't like that. I, I don't know if there's a way to play sealed best of three, but the ranked part isn't. I, I really don't like that. I like, I like sideboarding. Myself. Yeah, rankle was was really good. Yep. Basically, don't want to turn on this frilled mystic. Mm. Just like play Oath of Kaya. Oh, um, okay. I, I couldn't understand your question there, Mike. Uh, yeah, for the, sorry, for the email, um, I'd opened a lot. Uh, 1,570 packs. All right, got those cards out of there. Raisin Borrower is pretty rough. Um, I don't know. It's I I put the I put the f the photo of like my stats on in the discord channel also this morning uh let's see matches matches was 6716 whole lot of matches there <clears throat> all right well i only get to play one spell a turn I hope they just run out of counter spells here soon. There we go. That's good. 
That gives me two spells this turn. That's not good. That probably means they have another counter spell if they're willing to counter that. Resolve. Wow. It actually resolved. Well, that doesn't that doesn't do anything. That was literally just discard a card. What are you doing over here? I just played Hero and Tulsimer. What are you doing, opponent? You just discarded a Vela Summer. Okay. I mean, of course, Garrick's my better card. Like, Garrick... If we play Garrick, the game is pretty close to being over. I mean, they they can bounce in and stuff. They just drew one card that they don't know what that card was. They, uh, with the surveil, they put the cutthroat in the graveyard. So it's just a random card. So they've seen a good amount of counter spells, but not all the counter spells. But hopefully that's not one. Yeah, that's the thing. Did they top deck the counter? And doesn't look like it with the snap Vantress. I am what they call me. A monster. You're not scared of dogs, are you? So I blocked with the Tulsimer because we have the backup Tulsimer and, you know, they're legendary, but... Now I wonder if I should have blocked. Like, maybe I should have just taken it so then I... Because I actually was ahead, you know, life total race-wise. Well, I'm guessing the card they drew was Spectral Sailor because they didn't play it last turn. So that's probably not a counter spell because they didn't counter last turn. All right, so we're going to game three. A brazen buccaneer did a whole lot for our opponent. Brazen buccaneer. I should be playing dresses. What am I doing? Get the dresses in here. What are we doing? Citadel and Garrick are expensive, but they kind of win the game whenever you play them. Especially Citadel for this matchup. Should probably have the second Citadel in there over the second Garrick. Nah, maybe not. Maybe just go one and one. I don't know. Hey, I've had. Hey, it's observe. I don't know what to do. We'll just cut the Garrick. It costs the most. Yeah, eight and a half hour down. Well, getting close to eight and a half hour down. Uh, this could be a tough game at three here. Got back from o Ottawa from work. Ottawa. Can you say that? Ottawa. How does a Canadian say Ottawa? 
Ottawa? No. Ottawa? No. <clears throat> Land O triple seven, not double O seven. Uh, we've we've only played Oko in one deck so far, the Simic Ramp deck. We're playing Oko in Teamer up next. There's not really two mana counter creature spells in the format, are there? It's like Essence Scatter. Yeah, because Essence Scatter, yeah, there's Essence Capture. But yeah, that's you, you, but yeah, Essence Scatter rotated. So next turn we'll have Othakaya plus Veil. This is game three. You can. So yeah, you can see up here. So you see how they have a, a glowing dot. That means they want a game. I have a glowing dot over here. That means I want a game. So that's how you, that's how you can tell. So they missed a land drop and they put a land in the yard. They must have a whole bunch of gas over there. Hope they don't have two spells they could they can play. You know, like another cutthroat in a one drop, that would be bad. Yeah, I don't know. They, yeah, they could have let me target the cutthroat first. I got to do that three damage upstairs. So happy about that. And gain the three life and everything. Ugh. What are all these lands? The game we lost is because we flooded out really bad also. That's what this is looking like here too. You can, you can find all the decks here. Cutthroat only gets bigger, so we'll be able to chump block a bigger cutthroat later. Yeah. 
Maybe I should have just passed the turn and just held up once upon a time. And just cast that at their end step. Bad wolf. Alright, well the first wolf is out of here. Problem is they could have more than that. Hey, what's up, Scheme? Yeah, we got Eldrain. Definitely a welcome sight. So the problem with taking Tulsimer is that Tulsimer is double double green and I only have two green and so I can't have Tulsimer plus Veil of Summer. So I'm gonna take Doom Whisper so I can have Doom Whisper plus Veil of Summer, but we gotta wait till next turn for that. I shouldn't have played the land. I shouldn't have played the land. I should have attacked first. Cause then then if they play the if they play the wolf, then I could have shocked Doom Whisperer. Alright, good. Hopefully no wolf, no wolf, no wolf. Borrower. With this deck, we are currently 1-0. See the rating, the ranking, or the record, sorry. Right over there. We're playing a really close game here. I, I don't know when Deckmaster is going to upgrade get upgraded with Eldraine. I don't know. They still get to surveil. them for f it's gonna play safe here uh, I don't want fabled passage in this deck If we're playing Fable Passage, we gotta play a lot more basics, and I don't really want basic lands. I don't want a bunch of basic lands in my three color deck.
This is a really cl close game here. Drawing this other Vela Summer was really was really clutch. That was a really good draw. Yeah, questing pieces. Real powerful. <laughs> it's fun when you're playing it. Playing against it's kind of a nightmare. Questing beast is like how I lost all three times to Grixis. Um, I mean, if I guess we just Veil of Summer, because it just wins the game if they don't have an answer to it, and winning games is pretty valuable. All right, there we go. 2 and 0. 2 and 0. Oh. I like black white more better than Mardu. As far as the knights deck decks go. <laughs> yeah, Storm, I took down to clash for you. <laughs> Winning games is pretty valuable. There's not anything more valuable in the game of magic than uh, winning it. You know, when you're thinking like drawing cards and you know, removal spells, counter spells, all the things, like what's the most valuable? Winning the game. That is the most valuable. Yeah, twenty one mythic is pretty cool. But yeah, not not somebody that's really concerned with rank too much myself, but we'll take it. It's right around the highest I've ever been. I don't I don't remember what the highest I've ever been, but it's somewhere around this. Honestly, I probably I, I think I was like high teens before, but somewhere like low twenties or high teens, something like that. Um, honestly, I I really should have played the blossoming sands first over the temple there, so that I have more information for the scry, you know, so I can make the scry more useful. That, that was that was kind of bad there. I should have played the Blossoming Sands first. Because, you know, maybe this Othakai isn't actually worth worth it. Where I could have just had this cry there. All right, well, that's a good card to Othakaya. Another Narset. I did not start this fight, but I will finish it. I don't like how vulnerable this makes my Soren, to be honest, against the red spells. I This could be the wrong play. I could just really regret this if they kill Soren. Where if I just like have Soren tick up and go to six and then minus and go to and take down take down two and then go to four, it's still it's a lot harder to kill four loyalty even at that point for for a blue red deck than than not. Alright, so fires of invention. So we'll dispark that thing. Don't forget our time together. What a mess I've made. Rather 
grass is good. <laughs> you afraid of playing Bant Oko or Bant mid range with three man to fairy and Oko? Yeah, that could that could be an annoying deck. Your opponent killed your Garrick Wolves first after playing him. Easy ult. Nice. Yeah, traditional standard just means best two out of three. So you're not you're not playing best of one, you're playing best two out of three. I didn't really see what they did with the scries there. But it's all good. So that's four mana, sack it, draw two. I train every day. No one is more prepared. Keep an open mind. Well they they really should have played Narset first. Minus and then Witching Well some scries afterwards. Mind needs a rest. <laughs> Shock. Niv Mizzet. More Narset. No. They found a third shock. No. Their deck just only Narsets and shocks? <gasps> Yay. They shocked the wrong card. Abzan's been fun. Yeah, I've been liking this deck. It's been fun to play. I'm playing tons of close games here. So if I have Golgari Queen kill the Wishing Well, you know, it does take away a, a draw two. Um, otherwise, I can start drawing drawing cards, sacking some of these permanents. Um, like this Othakaya, for example. I don't think my opponent's attacking my Planeswalkers too much. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. And also, ticking up makes it harder to kill from just a burn spell. I would... How would I rate the deck? It's, it's solid. We haven't really played against the green decks yet. The, the Simic decks have looked really strong. Yeah, I was 5-0 with the Simic deck. Um, with our Grixis, we went 0-3 against Simic. We went 2-0 against non-Simic. I guess, I mean, we played against Simic Flash, I guess. But I'm not I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your Oko. Your Oko decks. I don't remember how we did with Mono Black Value. But that was a while ago, but... But besides that, it, like the Oko decks were like 8-0 that we've seen kind of recently. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Well, you can kind of tell by record so far. Like the the Simic ramp that we played felt like the best deck that we've played so far Let at me the time. Aid your research. Learned all I can here.
I'm going for the Golgari, the Raska Golgari Queen ultimate right now. But maybe I should be blowing up a Wishing Well. So they don't get to draw more cards, honestly. This thing's a 9-9. That's kind of big. Alright, so I'm going to look for another removal spell for the Fires of Invention. Yeah, they can still cast another card. They just activated wish Wishing Well. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Well, that's quite annoying. That's less annoying now. So, looks like my opponent is quite reliant on Fires of Invention. A lot of stuff to bring in. Oh man, Mortify kills it too. I need. Yeah, no, trophy's good. I don't need like Tulsa or Tristani as much. Cutting like Othakaya, you know, kills the Narset, which is nice, but it doesn't really do very much else. But I kind of feel bad cutting the card that kills Narset there. Uh, Doom for Toll, just make them make them sacrifice stuff, but still, it's like four mana. Like, yeah, they play Narset, right? You play four mana, make them sack the Narset. And then you sack something, and then they can't sack anything, and then you do a bunch of stuff. I mean, I guess if you have to sack Doom Foretold, it's annoying, but, you know, I'm going to hopefully sack, like, a hero token. That'd be ideal. Um... Uh, I guess we gotta cut some more cards. I guess I guess we're not playing it. Oh right, we can't sack tokens. That's true. Yeah, never mind. Sorry, my bad, my bad. I guess we already know what we need a scry to look for. Something to play early. Ugh, should have played the Blossoming Sands. I guess I only have one untapped land right now. The castle is not an untapped land. So we just have the one untapped land. I'm hoping by turn four we find another one. Yuck, playing into shock. Mind and meditate and prepare. Huh. 
How can I? Flame Sweeper. So the Witching Well is just an artifact. It's not an enchantment. This destroys enchantments. This only ETBs untapped if you have a planes. I don't I don't have any planes here. Put thoughtfulness before action. I haven't. Alright, so they they play Fires of Invention, they still get to cast another spell immediately afterwards. So we might as well just mortify on our turn and get a creature in play here. Thought about playing Soren and killing the Narset. Minus Tamio. Minus Tamio. I don't know why they would minus, but I want them to minus. To the library. No, I don't think Murderous Rider goes in this deck. With it being a hero deck. I think that you could play Abzan mid range and not really focus on hero as much and be able to play like Murderous Rider. All of our Temples of Maladies. I'm glad we had the Belhan in play over the Soren, though. Bigger attack on Tamiyo. What? <clears throat> oh, the next Planeswalker activation doubles. Okay. 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 Oh, wait, you copy it two more times? So you have to do three Tamiyo minuses? Alright, that's a pretty big game. That's a pretty, good, that's a pretty big game right there. I'll admit it. I have reached my limit. All right, I'm getting rid of the wishing well this time. Not gonna let them be able to draw two with that thing. Yeah, the casualties of war have been really, really impressive for my opponents. The ringing of my sword is your death knell. Like that, I mean, killing Citadel, like that's, you know, that's the difference between winning and losing the game. Discarded. 
Yeah, it looks like they got this one. This will not be my final parting. Okay. It's a good first step, I guess. I have learned little here. I can't really let them have that card advantage engine. We got a bunch of the sparks in here. Hopefully find another for the fires. Oh, they didn't upkeep scry? They scried both to the bottom. They really should have upkeep scried. That was a waste of a shock. We have a lot of ways to destroy Fires of Invention in our deck. Four to Spark, a couple Night of Autumn, a couple Mortifies, a couple Trophies. Yeah, those are two very good draws. Our, our perfect draw is drawing our other Citadel. That's our perfect draw is drawing Bolus of Citadel that hits stuff and, you know, we get to go crazy with Citadel. But yeah, those were two good draws. Wrong six drop. You could use some training. Let's play a game of hide and seek. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Yeah, Hawkeye's a boy. Yep. Is there any more pets? More scratches. Mighty warrior, I concede. I know I could zero to like get lethal on them, but I. Let's see how sharp my axe is. I basically don't think that will really work. Oh, gosh. So I could go Kethis. I could go Kethis, uh, Exile, Vraska, and Soren and play Citadel. I could go Kethis, Citadel here. I don't know. I'm a little scared of... A little scared of Casualties of War than, you know, having that out with everything else. Garuk's been pretty awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, Doom yeah, Doom with Dance of the Mans is really strong. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I was 
you know, if you go back and listen to the um, my set review, I was I was definitely high on Doom Foretold. People in chat were like, "Why are you talking about this card so much? It's not playable." I just I have one Doom Foretold in my sideboard here. They, they play Casualties of War off Fire of Invention, so they just play Fire of Invention, then Casualties of War. They've already cast Casualties of War multiple times this game. Flame Sweep is an instant. I don't know why they're doing it sorcery speed and letting me have this 1-1 one -one here. Because I'm, I'm obviously making this 1-1 one -one at end step, then they could have Flame Sweeped. Let's go with the Citadel. Okay. Because, you know, Citadel only costs five mana with Kethis in play. And we're 3 0. So, wouldn't Soren have been lethal with Garrick Ultimate? Well, they could also just have a shock and kill my creature in response and then i like wasted the garrick and and everything and I'd, I'd much rather just play for a longer game we don't need to like try to try to win immediately right then <laughs> yeah i like i like test them up bruise yeah eight wins in a row and that also we had we had like an opponent like like connection problem or something or something i don't know we had an opponent that just also just conceded immediately um like maybe they entered with the wrong deck or something i didn't put that up there so according to according to like my ranking thing it was like nine wins in a row so yeah abzan hero doing good No, I, like, whenever I destroyed, no, I don't, I did not want to destroy, so yeah, you're, you said that I should have made a 1-1 a one -one with my land a, f a few turns before that, and then killed that with my Garrick instead of the 2-2, two -two. but no, I wanted, I wanted to kill the 2-2 two -two because I wanted Garrick to go back up to 3 loyalty instead of 2 loyalty, so I wanted, I wanted that loyalty counter that that provided one and then two i didn't want to use my mana before drawing my card i wanted to draw my card first to see if i wanted to spend that mana hey prawn uh yeah eldraine's eldraine's been pretty fun so far we have a couple of cards that seem really powerful like oko in particular we hadn't played against an Oko deck yet with this one here. It looks like that's what my opponent's doing is playing an Oko deck. So we'll see how we fare against Oko. Play another Paradise Druid. I think we just Othakaya that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can, I can like, hero plus temple. What's hero and temple? 
Ugh. I love Tulsimer, but I only have one green source. I don't have, like, another land after that either. I think I... I guess I have to be at bottom. Because not only do I need another land, I need a green source as well. <laughs> you can wait, you can wait to owe the Kaya Oko. Oh wait, he has twelve loyalty. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Well, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate now. So not killing Risen Reef drew him two cards. This is really, really annoying. Why does the last card always have to be Krasis? So it draws millions of cards. At least we got rid of the Leafkins. Leafkin added two mana, so it was going to draw an extra card off of Krasis. Plus... Um, you know, they had the other Leafkin that was going to draw two cards here. They just spent nine mana on this card. Why can't I dispark it? It costs nine mana. I need to draw another land so I can have Garrick kill the Krasis or just draw another removal spell. I protect that, which cannot protect that would work as well. I want to mine another Legion's End. We have a we have a Kaya's Wrath in the sideboard, but not in the main deck. Seven Dwarves deck. That that card does not like Legion's End. <laughs> I just barked as early as I could. Oh, there was a scry trigger I could have respond to? Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, never mind. I guess I could have responded to that. Sorry, I was kind of looking at, at chat and stuff. Sorry, my bad. Streaming and playing. Ugh. No land. So I guess Soren is just a, I mean, so it's four mana for two one ones plus gain, eight life and do one damage to them. It's not bad. I guess it can be gain nine life and attack with this thing. So gain nine life and do and get two one ones and do one damage to them. 
for four mana. It's pretty good. Mine. Does not gain life. Come on, land. That'll do, that'll do. As good as land. I demand oh, plus it would have if they would have attacked Soren, it actually would have gained eleven life because of the Othakaya. So it would have gained eleven life, dealt two to them. I dealt three to them. Only a fool stands in my way. I, I won't forgive this. Yeah, I have I have three once upon a times in this deck. Rex. <laughs> Seven dwarves and 23 persistent petitioners. Ugh, stop drawing these wicked wolves. They so wicked. We don't need no wolves for the wicked. They're attacking me? Sure, whatever. Did they just not make a, a food token with their Gilded Goose last turn either? Work towards ultimate. Maybe have ultimate next turn. We were born for the hunt. An unfortunate casualty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely hoping they don't have questing beast. I, mean, I guess we we're still at five, so no, no idea when Deckmaster updates for new cards. I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, they really don't know how to goose. Yeah, they, they don't know how to goose. So minus six, our creatures are going to have plus three, plus three, and gain trample. Here. I want to keep Garrick around, though. I don't want Garrick just to die to, to that, so we're going to sack this other wolf.
My day's been really good, right, Fi? Yeah, we get new new set that we're playing. We got 1,200 people in here watching some Sweet Standard. We're up to 15, for those of y'all that like low numbers. It's a pretty low number. Join the stampede, my companion. There we go. I guess 28, 38, I guess 38 trample damage was good enough. I could have made it 43 if I would have let the Garrick die. I guess 43, I don't know. Or I mean 33, could have made it 33, sorry. Five extra. But yeah, we're going to gain, gain 28 life there with the attack. Okay. So let's see. Dispark was pretty awesome getting rid of Nyssa. Dis Dispark gets rid of Wicked Wolf and Nyssa and Tulsimer. Legion's End looked pretty good. I don't know if we can play all of those. We can get like a Kaya's Wrath in here. Trophy Queen. Probably too much stuff to play, honestly. Oh, man. I've heard the Realm Club giant animation is sweet. I haven't seen it yet. Hey, what's up, Jam? Thank you. And uh, Chin? Chine? China, maybe? Anyway, uh, thank you so much for continuing your Twitch Prime sub here. I really appreciate that. Um, anyway, all right, so we got 66 here. We got to do some quick sideboarding. We're going down to three to Sparks. Uh, cutting the Night of Autumn. Cutting. I kind of want to play this other Bolas of Citadel, but we can't really play all these expensive stuffs. Get rid of Fabro. That's 63. Uh, and Othakaya. Maybe two. No, no. Uh, it still said like 18 seconds or something like that. I was just looking at that. Uh, that teaches me for not sideboarding right away and everything. Uh, man. Why can't they just fix that? Definitely still had time left on the clock. It said like 18 seconds or something like that. Very slow hand on the draw. Possibly too slow. Likely too slow. That's a great card. <laughs> no, I can't I can't do a twelve twenty four hour stream. I just I like physically, like that's just not something that I can put my body through. I not going I can't stay up for 24 hours. Turn 2 Oko. GG. I think a little merriment is in order. Hey, putting these to the bottom. How brutal has turn two Oko been? It's, it's never lost. I've never seen it even come close to losing. To be fair, the only times I've seen Oko lose is when the other person also has Oko. I haven't I haven't seen I haven't seen anybody beat an Oko yet. You see the humor here. Come to think of it. Right? Like has Oko never lost a game? Like any person that played Oko, have they always beaten anybody that hasn't had Oko? Like, all three losses of my Grixis deck were all against Oko. 
all five wins, you know, Simic Ramp were all Oko. Like, that was like eight matches in a row of like Oko winning. Okay. So, you y'all have seen an Oko lose a game? Yeah, large large flying creatures are good at attacking Oko. I don't I don't know what my opponent's doing over here. They didn't have any mana up because Fable Passage could only put in a tap land. Um, does this thing still count as a food? It doesn't say that it's a food. Or, like, is it still a food that you can sacrifice to Gilded Goose? I guess the name is still food. So, yeah, I guess it, I guess that would work. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. An Eagle Guardian Queen. Kill this Oko. We'll drop with drawing Faber Elder. I'm just gonna play that thing so I can add three mana. So I can really help sp speed up my deck here. Trust me, I have a plan. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. What? Really? Fairness? What a bizarre expectation. Why bounce the Othakaya? Why, like, let me replay Othakaya? I don't... I I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with this Oko still. It just, you know, has way too much loyalty for Othakaya. It dodges to spark. I can just play a Bell Hunt. And I guess that's all I'm going to do. They can just turn the Bell Hunt into a 3 3, though. Yeah, definitely, definitely a chance that they had Vela Summer that they wanted me to replay Othakaya, and then they'd use the Goose mana for Vela Summer there. No, I am not making this up as I go. One bite, and all your cares are gone. I don't have any Elder Sparks in the sideboard now.
I hope that last card's not Veil of Summer. It's a good chance it is, though. <laughs> yeah, Othakaya Tribal is not looking spectacular. Blind to your folly. What is it? What are you talking about? Pay. Don't you just tap the mana? Fine. Remain blind. Okay. We got that to work. Our opponent is still not activating their goose to put in Don't worry. to put food tokens into play. They're still not doing that. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Gaze into my face and Bleh. put on your true shape. There you go. Awesome comics and collectibles. Glad you're having a lot of success there with the Simic Ramp deck. Happy to hear it. So they could have Teferi bounce my wolf token if they want. <clears throat> yep. I'll protect you. Surely you see the humor here. RMW Waffle, what's up? Thank you so much for that resub. Sub number 29 on the day. So we're at 12. Staying alive and killing Oko is going to be kind of difficult here. I think I have to make a block. I think I have to hope to draw a cheap removal spell. Uh, I just have another blocker. I just can't kill Oko, I guess. Rise profit. <laughs> I can be your sub goal. Thank you so much. That is our third sub goal of the day, getting us closer to our next 12 hour stream. So each time we hit a sub goal, that's a really good card to draw. It's quite a good card to draw. We get closer to a 12 hour stream. So we're doing a 12 hour stream now. But we hit the, this, the goal for this 12-hour stream a while ago, by what you know, like about a week ago. We are now 
12. Just updated it. We're now 12 sub goals to the next one. We do one every 20 sub goals total. So maybe we'll have another 12 hour stream here in the coming days as well. All right, we're actually going to cyborg. We're going to bring in Golgari Queen, Kaya's Wrath. I guess we're playing Trophy to kill Oko. The spark didn't look good that time. It looked very good the first time. So if we play this, I don't want to get this extra Legion's End in here. Maybe instead of Othakai, I'll play an extra Legion's End. I don't know. Othakai is really good, too, though. Yeah, Oko's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, we almost beat Oko, but then they had another Oko, and we lost. It looks like it's the best card in the set by quite a ways. Yeah, that, that's what our deck that we went 5-0 with with Simic earlier was, yeah, Goose, Oko, Nissa, Crisis. Good cards to be playing, that's for sure. I don't... What do you mean about Azorius Esper Artifacts? I don't... I guess I haven't really seen an Azorius or Esper Artifacts deck that looks solid yet, but I haven't seen very many of them. The Izzet Planeswalker is a little bit more of a, a build around. You know, it's having, like playing like a reanimate deck, it's really nice. GG. We're playing. Um, Walk with me, sing with me. It's not poison. Trust me. So basically, do I want to trophy this thing, or do I want to try to wait till next turn and Golgari Queen eat it? They could just have like the. If I play hero, they could just wolf, kill hero. Yeah, we probably have to trophy. I could wait till after their draw step, and then they get to draw one more card, but like, there's, they're not going to run out of basics, and it comes into play untapped. So all that's doing is risking them untapping, having their mana, and having Veil of Summer. So no Nissa there, that's good. Didn't play anything. My opponent still doesn't know how to use Gilded Goose. Wow. Still nothing. What's their hand? They're having like negates over there? They're gonna like negate my planeswalkers? I mean, I, no, I don't think it's Frilled Mystic. They just have... I don't think Frilled Mystic. Must just be lands and then maybe, like, Veil of Summer. We 
They're just gonna like time wipe me. That would be really bad. I hope I don't get time wiped. Like the Great Henge. All right, there's the Wicked Wolf. <laughs> Did he even sacrifice a food? Keep the wolf alive. I'm playing this ticking up so we can get to bring back Tulsimer next turn. So playing Golgari Queen, I want to have that Tulsimer ready, ready to go. Wow, they played in Oko and we won. They played in Oko and we won. They also didn't play anything. They played turn two Oko and we won, but then they didn't play anything on turn three or turn four or turn five. <laughs> so they didn't play like anything after that. Yeah, we survived the Oko and Teferi deck. Well, we're four and zero. I feel like we should just play another one here. I feel like we should play one more. I I was saying that we were just gonna play four to get to the other decks, but maybe we won't get to our last deck of the night. So I'm gonna be on for about two and a half more hours. We've already been on for nine and a half hours so far. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what our opponent had. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was a veil. Yeah, our opponent had Nissa. They had, you know, Risen Reef, Nissa. Shifte, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that support. Love it. Man, y'all are being awesome today. So many subs, so many people in here. Hope everybody else is having just an awesome release Thursday. Yeah, I could take a poll of what, what deck to, to get rid of. Like, I could do that. I could take a poll of which one of these decks not to play t tonight. I think that Model Green is probably the, the strongest out of the three decks. Alright, so we're playing against... Is it... Removal? Kind of just want... Land, Citadel. Flying to Costa Rica tomorrow. Exciting. Is this reanimate? Are they discarding Draki, Seth? Merchant of the Veil. Is this Phoenix? Look at how much loyalty these things have. These three mana planeswalkers. That's six loyalty. So does Oko. They have six loyalty whenever you play them. Like, how are you ever supposed to attack these things? Turn three, six loyalty, NBD. Makes monsters of us all. <laughs> Time See, I want my four drop, four mana planeswalker to have six loyalty. That's a little bit more fair, but still. Hmm. A mess I've made. Yeah, I could grab back hero. But, uh, so if I grab hero, I go down to four loyalty. 
It's kind of easy for them to shock Soren and then Crackling Drake has two power and then Soren's dead. Why couldn't they have that last turn? Now I want to play Doom Whisper though. Why couldn't you have this last turn? Nice. Weighty Cakes, you're 5-0 with this hero deck. All right, take care. Have a good night. Thrill of Possibility, ditching a coil. <laughs> you're working up my appetite. Yeah, we beat the Yoko deck. All right, not shocking Soren. We have 11 power that's coming that they're going to have in play right now. If I do this one more time, we're going down to one. This, this game's just lost. Those cards don't help. Oh, right. Crackling Drake grows one anyway, so that's just 12. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I guess. I, yeah, I could stream me. Yeah, I'm going to stream like the win every card attempt. I guess I haven't really thought too much about that. But yeah, whenever whenever I do that, I could definitely stream that. Phoenix is kind of rough. I don't have good answers to it. Wait, I have Disparks. Let's get all these Disparks in here. Yeah, Dispark exiles Phoenix. That's perfect. What if I take out Hero Precinct ones? I just hate how easily they die to shock. Hmm. We have a lot of cards I don't really like in this matchup. <laughs> I don't like very many of our cards at all. <laughs> Can I play the Citadel? That was kind of rough against the deck that can have a lot of burn playing a Citadel. It's risky for sure. I'll just go with the one Citadel. No, Veil only stops blue and black spells. Oh, yeah, so you're... Oh, okay, I guess... So the, the Beacon Bolt? Okay. Yeah, would stop Beacon Bolt. Ugh, what's this with this hand? 
I guess we keep it with the, the double scry land. So yeah, that's true. It stops Beacon Bolt. Okay. Once upon a time, we had a hero. I didn't really take a look at the, my other cards. I should, probably should have looked at like the other four cards that I put at the bottom. I didn't really look. Yeah, we're up to number 12. We're down a game here, though. And this is looking pretty bad for us. Do you like Bell Hunt? It seems we've encountered another puzzle on our quest. Hmm. What is my strategy here? I guess I'm not going to just trophy that thing this time. Save trophy for, like, Crackling Drake. So much loyalty, though. Uh, sorry to hear that, Matthew. My answers lie in the cold. All right, I guess I need to kill the Royal Scions. That was brutal. Pretty brutal. Uh oh, get away from me. Lair deck looks pretty good. Yeah, exclamation point deck plural is where you can find all of them. Exclamation point deck is where you can find this specific list. That card's really nice, being an 0-4. card's really nice. You should fear those born of darkness. Wish I had that extra Bolas of Citadel in my deck. Because, you know, Bolas Citadel is, like, what... That's basically what I need from, from right now is, like, a is a citadel that's honestly what i need i only have one i, I wish i would have brought in the second one you know next time i play this kind of matchup i'll know to bring it in um you know them having so many different threats and everything yes again exclamation point decks get you all the the decks
you know, we have our four disparks. Um, Royal Scions is so good if it says Crackling Drake. <laughs> Looks like we're taking our first loss in a while. We're not getting 10 in a row. Punk Boyardee. Thank you so much there, Punk Boy RD. I really appreciate that. Uh, I apologize there, Steven. I'll try to do better. I apologize. Just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to win this game. It's not, it's not easy. Can I not activate this thing? I guess we clicked too far. Uh, kind of, I never said that I was. But I, I guess that's my appearance, so I apologize. And then finally, Doom Whisperer. They can help us block this Niv Mizzet. It's not a great spot to be, but it's it's where I'm at. Where I'm at here. Should be able to just get, yeah, they're going to have enough pings here. Kill this Doom Whisperer. All right, four and one. Thanks, Zedalom. All right, so it went pretty well with our Abzan Hero deck. We got... Uh, Ground down by is it there? That can happen. Need to use our final boss music? Yeah, maybe we need to do that. Maybe I, I said at the beginning of the video that we we're probably just going to be playing four matches, and then we won all four, and so I was like, oh, let's get a, a fifth one in. Um, and then that one didn't work out for us. But yeah, so that's Abzan Hero. There's a lot of good stuff going on with the Abzan cards. Um, it's po definitely possible that uh, you can move away from focusing on multicolor cards and move away from Hero of Precinct 1 and have a lot of success with that as well. You know, you could go towards, like, uh, Murderous Rider um, in the three-mana slot for a, a good, you know, that's a really good quality spell, uh, for example, there. And then if you want to be more wolf-heavy, you can be with the uh with the other with the four mana wolf like the flash wolf um as well but i i've liked bell haunt soren and frasca I've, I've really liked those cards for sure there um yeah we never got to untap with a fey burrow elder didn't get to do that garrick looked good i i missed not having a second citadel I definitely missed that. I mean, we had the second Citadel on the sideboard, but 
we didn't really draw Citadel too much because Citadel is just so incredibly powerful uh, that just takes over games and so I kind of feel like we should have another Citadel in here but that you are kind of starting to have too many like top end cards if we play another Citadel Tristani didn't look very good Tristani could be another Citadel maybe like maybe we just put the second Citadel in the main and take out the Tristani um Dig it to pop up our creatures once to kill an opponent. That'll give you just another sideboard slot. I don't even know if I'd want Tristani over in the sideboard. Doom foretold. Like honestly, maybe I don't have like the enough permanents here to sacrifice to Doom foretold. Like other other permanents, because you know we don't get to sacrifice tokens or anything. So maybe we shouldn't be going Doom foretold either. So you know, like that's those are that's another sideboard slot to play with there the sparks were good i'm glad we had four to sparks against like that is a deck never, never saw any yeah tristani's still pretty good against simic it's it's fine i mean yeah it's fine it's not it's not anything that's like that impactful at five mana to be honest but it's fine uh, so yeah, we're going. I have, I have twenty four lands because we have the three once upon a times. Like so, like we we hit land drops pretty pretty well because the the three once upon a times are are like three lands. So it's kind of like playing twenty seven land because like these these are just like lands. That's that's basically what you're always grabbing with them. So we didn't really struggle too much hitting lands with having the once upon a times. Yeah, I don't. So I don't know exactly what to do with that that last sideboard slot yet i don't know we'll kind of see like some more things get played um you know we'll have a better idea there but yeah this this was definitely a really fun deck so i liked this one quite a bit so like always if you're watching on youtube make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and leave a comment let me know what, what you want to do with the deck what do you want to do for those last slots or two there but thank you so much for watching some Mabzan Hero. Make sure you check out all the other videos as well with the new standard decks. Um, but until then, I'll see you for the next video.